What is up, everybody? My name is Lou for the Deadly Sins, and wow, I would never thought I would actually get back to playing games and recording them. Honestly, it's it's been a while since I actually did this, and um, I guess for me, I just I think I just needed some time away from just playing some games in general. It's just I don't know if other people have felt this before, but after a while you feel a little burned out. You feel like, ugh, I don't want to do, you know. I mean, they're they're fun. I, I love playing games. This one in particular, this is probably one of my favorite games ever. And the reason why I want to play this and actually try to do a thing for it is because this is probably, again, one of my favorite most favorite games ever and it really really for me made it so that I could really start enjoying the PlayStation oh yeah circle is confirmed in this game uh, I gotta get used to that now if you don't know what this game is, this is probably one of the, if not, one of the better, for me, tactical games. It's a Final Fantasy tactical game. Which, obviously, when you see the fucking, <laughs> fucking, uh, ugh, title screen. And this is basically called the Zodiac Brave Story. So as we go through, you know, I'll explain a little bit about this, about the story itself, and just the, how the whole thing goes entirely. But back to what I was saying in the beginning, it's just I felt really burnt out. I felt like I was like, oh, I didn't want to play anything. I didn't want to record anything for a little while. Just on this alone. And then Paul and I did the pod, our podcast. We brought it back. We did our second one. And Paul started talking about going around and doing, you know, just breaking up some things on the channel, like making one thing this, making making a channel for this, making a channel for this, making a channel for this. And I was like, and after we got done recording it and I talked to him about it, I said, well, would it be okay if I did my own game stuff on my own channel? And Paul was, you know, yeah, that's fine, man. I mean... In no way, shape, or form, me and Paul done doing videos together. No way. I mean, we're we're a team. I mean, we're... That's f first and foremost. Paul and I are a team. We work together. And we do our best to try to make the best of what we have. And, you know, I'm very thankful for the over 1,400 subscribers that are on the Deadly Sins. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Because every single one we get just kind of confirms that, you know, hey, we, we're doing something. <laughs> Somebody likes watching us do this goofy bullshit. And, you know, I guess for me, it like, because most of you guys don't see that in, like, the videos. You don't see most of the other shit that, like, we do, like, or we talk about, or get to hear this kind of side, because I'm usually the one trying to be, oh, look at me, I'm going to be, you know, the fucking bad guy. I got to be the heel. I got to be the guy that fucks with everybody. And I, I do love that. I do love doing that, because that's just kind of what I, you know, I feel like being sometimes. I kind of feel like being that guy. Because, you know, I don't, you know, we're guys. We're friends, first and foremost. So we're going to fuck with each other. It's like the rules of the road. But there are other times that, you know, a lot of people don't actually get to see where, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. And I think something like this just, for me, feels better in a way. I feel a lot better doing it this way. Because then, I don't know, I guess it's just more my, my own thing. Not to say that I don't enjoy 
putting up things, putting vi- putting the videos I made up on the Deadly Sins. I love doing all that work with Paul. You know, it's great to work with my friend and try to make something entertaining for people. And I think that's the most part. That's the biggest part about it. So. Now with all that mushy bullshit out of the way. We're gonna... Basically start going into the game. Now. I've played this game... Probably just as many times. If not more than Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And if you know me and have seen things in my house or seen like the shirts I or even my tattoos, I'm a hardcore Zelda fan. And to me it's not it's not just like for this game here, it's not just like the way the character the sprites are made or how the combat is. It's just... the I like the story. The story is what gets me. It's like, this game's story is fantastic. You know, you have this girl, Olivia, that's a princess. And you're protecting her because she's, you know, the heir to the throne. And you have all these other people biting for it and it's just again it's it starts out like this but it becomes something so much more now there are other there's like some like rules I'm pro I'm gonna try to instill into this, which is I'm not gonna try to use any special characters unless it's story driven characters. I'm gonna try to just stick with my main character with this Ramza and all the generic characters, like the characters you get to start with. So that's basically what the idea of this. And if you never played this game before, I deck Definitely recommend trying it out. It is a good game. Now. The way this game kind of works is it's turn-based. So. I gotta use the D-pad. Holy shit. It's been a very long time since I've played this. Yes. So you get the move and you get an action. So you get to look at what you get. And you also have, like, some other ability. Your base attack, like, for example, has, like, one square unless you have certain weapons. But it goes in, like, four directions. Now, you also have a zodiac symbol. You also have bravery and faith. Bravery is based on your attack roll, on your attacks, see how strong they are, and your defenses. And faith is the same for your magic. How strong your magic is going to be and how good you're going to be able to resist it. But there's also the zodiac signs, which is what asks for your birthday. Now, with your birthday, it's gonna. You might be able to do more damage to a certain person if. You know, you have an opposing symbol. Now, also, when you do an attack, it does a comparison. Like, for example, I'm gonna try to throw a rock at this guy. It could do 10 hit points and a 90% chance to hit. So you execute the action, you do the effect, and if it hits, you get that. You get experience points and job points. Now, job points are how you level up what class you are. You can spend those to get stuff and to get better abilities and other skills and things of that nature. But we'll get into more of that later. Right now, and at the end of your turn, you also get a facing. Facing's kind of important because certain abilities, they only work if you're facing a certain direction. So. You generally don't want to be turn your back when you have enemies in front of you because then, you know, they'll do more damage. And then they do that, oh, music, death music, which is kind of cool.
Oh no, my armor got destroyed. Now, like I said, armor doesn't really give you defense. It gives you hit points in this game. So, losing your armor could cause you to lose your hit points. And depending on what level of armor you have, it could be a lot. And now that guy is charging. Charging is basically when you have an action that's on hold and will do something once your turn comes around. I'm going to charge one. The only problem with some of those is if you move out of the way where the square is, you designate where the square is going to be, you could, it just misses. So again, you have to be careful and you have to plan. This is why it's you have to be smart and tactical during this whole during this. So I will say this though, the AI is kind of <laughs> a little dumb. There we go. Good job, random knight. Oh, that's good. Way to go, computer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this archer because he is a douchebag. And I'm going to attack him. 35. 100%. I love that's what I like to see. Now, we're going to face him. Now, in this game here, later, way later on, you could actually get Cloud in your game. And, and everyone's like, oh my god, you have to play as Cloud, that's so awesome. It's like, I like Cloud just as much as the next guy, but... Again, for this, it's like, when you get n new units, like especially Cloud, <laughs> Cloud only really starts as level one. His, that guy's name is Fuchs. <laughs> Fuchs, you. That's kind of funny. Anyway. You gotta build them up from level one, and especially that late in the game when you pick them up, isn't very good. Oh, there goes the uh, the chemist, and I'll be explaining what like some of the classes are once we get into the you know. meat and potatoes of the whole thing. Now, I'm gonna see if this will actually work, because this game has a really unique, like, <clears throat> oh, I leveled up. That's kind of a weird, like, directional system. And what I mean by that is that I can't throw a rock like directly above like see where my friend is now dead i if i wanted to try to throw a rock it wouldn't work because well he's in the way he's gonna get hit like crossbows do that too crossbows are line of sight and also some other things but bows aren't you can shoot over people with a bow which is nice and there goes that. Oh no, what happened, princess? Damn. Ron Simmons. Poof, right in the tum tum. Oh no, getting away. Chocobo jump. Blame yourself or God. Oh God! <laughs> he looks. I'm just trying to figure out why that man is with that group. So basically, right now, that was just the uh, basically the tutorial to teach you what you have to do. 
And this is basically explaining some of the history of this other character named Delta. And I know people are going to be like, well, you're saying it wrong. It's like, I know. I'll be saying it wrong a lot. Because I do not know the proper pronunciation. But that's okay. Some people will correct me, some people won't. But it is what it is. So, basically what this is doing is explaining what's going on right now. I don't really know why the script gets really slow there. So. Now with this, I'm going to try to cut out a lot of the grinding. So I'm going to try to do all that off camera. Or off, I'm not going to record it. So when at certain points you'll see my characters being higher level than what they are. Um... Again, and also you're going to see like some really, really, if you actually played this game, you know there's some kind of like certain places where you can break the game where it can be like, all right, I'm going to be super powerful now here. And there are a few parts and spots in this game where it really, you really have to know whether or not you built your characters the right way. And I will always say there are two or three spots in this game and you'll know them when I say what spots they are is when you have to make sure your characters are built correctly because this game like at those points that this game will teach you if your characters are fucked up or not Now, they're basically saying people, very important characters are coming. Random text, run away. All right. I'll ask you to save before everything. And I will. All right. Now, it's going to give you a screen like this, which basically tells you where you get to place your units. And this is the space you get. Now, I can tell you what I have. Like, basically what my things are. So I have... All right, so I'm going to use, oh, Drake. I'll keep a chemist there, uh, Ira, Caroline. So basically your two classes right now are Squire, which is the generic kind of base baseless class and chemists which are kind of your item healing characters they don't have magic but what they do is they can throw potions at a certain distance so they can heal and do other things basically what you want to look for when you start this game is your main character which is Ramza can basically be built for almost anything you basically want two decent frontliners you want one really you want one magic user which is basically going to be the one that's going to learn all the magics it's going to need and then discern which one is which and then you want kind of like a flex spot 
That's the way I do it. And the reason why I make a flex spot is because you never know what you might need. So, you know, one area might require this, so you can switch it out to this. Now, your flex spot's going to be the hardest one to use because, of course, it's not going to be as good as the rest of your class classes and your classes and your units because they're going to be kind of like all which way. But it never hurts to have them. They are very good and they can always like get around the situations that you might need them to get around. Now this is an actual first battle battle, which means characters can die. So, death in this game is pretty, you know, legit. Like, you could be leveling like a level 50, 60 character, and if it drops and you don't get to it. Alright, so let's see what skills he has. You know, okay, he only has Wish. Which kind of sucks. But I do have a decent movement, so I'm going to come up here. And we're going to attack. So 20 hit points and 95%. Not bad. That's good. Now, as cadets... And he's going to have basic skill, which is just dash. You want to check what they have first, because some of them might have another ability that you can use. Like, I was hoping I picked the ones with throw stone. I didn't get that, fortunately, for these. Oh, yes. uh, wait. Basically, waiting means you can't do anything, but their turn will come up faster. So, potion and antidote. Not bad. You can also tilt the thing there. Uh, no, I want you there. I'm going to wait. Go that way. What do you have? Oh, she just has dash. Alright, let's move you. I'll move you up here. And then you're up. And then you have potion and antidote. I got another potion and antidote. Now... When you start with these, they're all random. So you could get lucky and get Potion and Phoenix down. Which is pretty good, especially in the beginning of this game. Because you're going to need Phoenix down. This is going to be one of those games where selling equipment and certain things isn't a really good idea. Because you're going to need to keep all of your equipment. Well, not all of it, but you're going to have to keep a certain amount. Ow. Well, he's going to move up here. He's going to attack. 15 damage. Everyone earns their own separate H, uh, experience points and job points. So keep that in mind, because you're going to have to make sure that I can use a potion. Throw. You're healed. She gets job points for that. She can come over here. Nine. That's not very good. That kind of sucked. You can go here. And we're going to throw another potion. But we're... Yeah, we'll throw it at him. Just top him off. Because he should be able to kill her next. Oh, you missed 5%. That's very rare. Also, like, them missing... Unless you have some certain skills. And, like, there goes him healing. Again, like, 
being able to attack from the sides and attack from certain angles help a lot because it gives you better percentages instead of just going straight at them and trying to swing. And you generally get more experience points when you are the one that does the final kill. Now, also with this, you see there's a death count on that body. They have general, the computer generally has three turns to heal. But most of the time, the computer's not going to do that because it's a computer. It's not designed to pick up guys. It also works for you as well. So you also have to make sure that you get, if one of your units fall, you have to get there within a certain amount of time. If you don't, well, that's basically the end of that unit. All right, we're gonna move here and wait. All right, I'm just gonna attack him first. And move away. I'm gonna heal her. So unfortunately, she's not going to win that fight because she's only doing 9 to his 12. Well, that's 16. Okay. Again, knowing how your enemy is going to move, knowing how your enemy is going to react, and knowing how to combat your enemy Basically figuring out a strategy to making the computer do what you want to do is how you're going to do well in this game. You're going to have to like really learn like what does what, how you can utilize it, and how you can make the computer basically play out its turns for you in order for you to be better. Because if you mess up, like you like mess up. There's no, like, oh, well, it's not like, it doesn't give you, like, baby chance. It's not like, oh, well, here's a re redo. I mean, your redo is resetting the game and trying it again. All right, you killed one. That's basically what your redo is. Alright, Delta's job went up, which means now he's a level 2 squire, and you run away for some oddball reason. Well, that's fine with me, because I am going to swing at you. You're dead. Oh shit, I forgot to heal him. I'm gonna do six. Thank god you did four. That's like I said, I I my I had a really bad chance of losing a unit already. <laughs> because I wasn't paying the attention. Because I'm freaking dumb. But anyway. Alright. Item potion. <laughs> there we go. Good job. You're gonna wait. There we go, 12 damage. Move you behind here. Now, there is like a really, really cheap thing you can do. You could... Basically, what you do is you can leave the, uh, the chemist alive if you're lucky to get one of your um, squires to learn uh, throw rock and just keep throwing stones at him. Because the uh, AI has an infinite amount of potions. So you could just constantly level up um, job points that way. But that's like a, that's like really, really cheap. I mean, you could literally do this like 
at any part of the game. But there's a better way to do it, which I'm probably going to have to do, which I might not have to. It really depends on how I how I'm feeling and how the how grinding wise it's going. If it's taking too long, I might do it, but if not, but <laughs> So, that's the end of that. You kill all the bad guys. This battle is complete. You get money and you get war trophies. Ooh, Methyl Dagger, Phoenix Down, and a f basically a free potion. So. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad for my first time playing this. It's been a long time since I've played it. But. You can buy items if you don't understand. Basically, this is just going to explain everything. Now, I'm going to try to keep the story stuff recorded, and anything grinding-wise is not going to be there. <laughs> so now I can show you how this works. So this is all your guys right here. And this is your system, where it shows you where everything is. So I already have a level 2 chemist, so I can have access to priest or wizard, but I don't want any of those. If you are a squire, your aiming is to get this. Gain JP up. The reason why is because it's fucking good. And you have all these other skills too, like throw stone, heal, yell, accumulate. Yes, counter tackle. This is your this is basically your skills. These are your reacts. These are your passives. Or just like extra skills you get. And this is a passive, I should say. There's two passives here. One is for your class, so you can get other things. And this one's a passive for your base unit. So for example, like this gives you a move plus one. Now if I go into my other ones, like chemist. See, I can learn certain things in chemist. I can get... No, oh, fuck. How do I learn shit again? I totally forgot how to learn things. I... F oh my god, I'm such an idiot. All oh, right, duh, I'm fucking so dumb. You have to set him first. God, I'm such a moron. I totally forgot about that. Okay, maybe not. I totally forgot how to level up my characters. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. I totally forgot how to learn level up my characters. Shit me. Hold on. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. What do I gotta do, Eddie? Oh my god, I feel so dumb. It's been like forever since I fucking played this game. Oh my god, alright. Oh, it's fucking learn. Oh god, I am so stupid. All right, so.
Alright, there we go. I am so fucking dumb. I totally forgot how to do that. Yes, there we go. Move, find item, yes. Uh, I want potion. And... I can't, can't get that, so we'll just get antidote for now. Basically, right now, that's basically what I'm doing. Oh, he had throw stone. Son of a bitch. What other thing did you learn as a chemist? Antidote. <laughs> Base skill. You have... Oh, you can learn throw stone. Okay, well, I'm not gonna teach you that. So you have this and antidote. Uh, set item. What do you have? Throw stone. Of course, I picked the ones that don't have throw stone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I used you. Battle skill charge. What the fuck? Holy shit, what do you have? Oh my god, wow. She got a lot of stuff already. Holy crap, what do you have? This is the first time I've ever had, like, a character like this. You're gonna learn move high an item. What do you have as a knight? Do you have anything? Nope. Nothing with a knight. She could get charge one as an archer. You can get that. Archer priest. Holy shit. I never even... <laughs> That's different. Wow. Okay, basic skill. Dash. Okay, you have that antidote. He has guts. Oh, he has charge already. Wow, this is the weirdest setup I've ever seen. He has dash and heal. Uh, you can learn throw stone. He has nothing as a knight. Wow, he can learn charge two. Uh, we'll give him charge one. Okay, well. Holy shit. Now, generally what you're gonna need is like five characters. So what you wanna look, so I'm one, two, three, four, and five. These are the characters I'm going to use to level up. This is pro this is going to be my team until it lets me use six. Which is generally what it lets you level up to. Because you can have only a maximum of like six guys, depending on what it is. So. Let's get out of here. Now, when you get out of here, you can go to the bar, you can go to the shop, or the soldier's office. The bar is basically where you can go and get jobs. So you could send certain classes out to do things and basically get money and items. The shop is basically what it sounds like. You buy stuff. So you have broadswords, rods, oak staffs, leather hat, clothes, and all this other stuff. I, there's not really a lot here. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm topped off on potions. So basically all I really need right now is potions. Four or five percent. He should have the dagger because he needs to be able to attack better. Now you'll notice, like, he can't equip broadsword. So he only has that or a dagger. 
Should get a broadsword, dagger, dagger, broadsword. Okay. Well, we're gonna give you a dagger because I'm not gonna use you. We're gonna give you a broadsword so you can do more damage. All right. So basically, I have what I need for my team. So basically, I'm gonna save. And honestly, this should take care of my uh, first part. It's going to be a little long because of me going through the intro and everything. But hopefully these will get shorter and just be just story stuff. But um, thank you for watching. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. Give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Tell me in the comments whether you did or you didn't. It doesn't really matter. You know, that'd be great. Um, I'll be putting the base channel deadly sins channel in the description check us out if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel right now with it on that's my personal channel you can subscribe to there uh i'm also going to put up paul uh, paul's new game channel called papa plays when he starts putting stuff on there you know i'll put his videos up with mine so check out that channel paul's also starting a new live stream is on a new live stream thing called hitbox um i saw a video about Brumac talking about it. Paul wanted to try it too, so I'll put the link in there. Uh, I'm also going to put in the link for the Deadly Sins Facebook page. If you're not a fan of us on the Facebook page, check us out there. We have a lot of great people in it that put up some videos here and there, and you know it's a great community of people. So if you want to get into the food stuff and shit and stuff like that, you know you could talk to some of those guys there. Um, I'm also going to put in the description in the description box a, a link for uh gofundme.com it's for a excuse me it's for a shirt that's going a graphic that we're getting done by a very very talented comic book artist known as Joan Monden and he's making a graphic for us since our friend Christy went and tried to commission him for it but unfortunately our friend suffered an injury so she's been out of work for a little while so she decided to try to put it up on gofundme.com I'll put the link down there go check it out if you want to help us out any little bit help our, our goal is $75 but if we go beyond that goal um, I don't know maybe we can do some more stuff with it maybe get make improve uh, some of the quality of the videos getting some better equipment things like that no doesn't hurt there was like a like a rewards thing for it too so depending on how much you give you get a reward uh paul made a psa video about it you can check that out on the main channel but all in all guys i want to thank you so much for your support for us and you know again you you guys are the reason why we do this well you really you know all the cool people that we got to you know we don't get to actually physically see them but just you know watching them and having them talk about us and we talk about them like heel heat george i never got to meet you if i ever do man i would love to hang out with you one day and just sit for hours just talking wrestling with you and that would probably to me be one of the coolest things ever if i would get i get to meet like freaking natter um rika yeah rika if I got to meet her, just talk about anime and food and all that other bullshit. Rob, if I got to hang out with you for a day, that would be fantastic. I would love it because me and you could just goof around about goofy anime and video game and all that other cool stuff that I get to do. And I mean, honestly, the best part about this is I get to work with one of my best friends. And that's probably one of the most fun things I ever get to do ever because, I mean... Who, who wouldn't want to work with your best friend doing something ridiculously fun as just eating weird food or just just hanging out? I mean, that's what's probably the best part about this is that we just genuinely get to hang out and do cool things. But again, I kind of rambled on, but thank you for watching this. Please continue to support us in any way, shape, or form. Even, even if it's watching one video and giving it one like or dislike and giving a comment to help us be better or just saying... you. You know, just throwing your support out there. That be, it just means so much, you guys. So again, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time, hopefully for the next video. Goodbye, and have a great day and/or night, depending on when you're watching this. Bye, guys.